Hi, welcome back to Do Your Damn Self. I always try to bring you a wide variety of things that I repair on this video page. Um, today I'm going to be exploring the uh, world of bookbinding. It's what I've had extensive experience in over the past 30 or so years. So uh, I have here a book. It's only about 20 years old. Uh, the binding on it, the case binding, looks like it's immaculate. The spine is fine. The end papers that hold the book in place are perfect. I didn't see a problem with it at all, front and back. It all looks almost brand new, even though it's over 20 years old. The problem is the book block has split right down the middle. And what usually holds this together is called a super cloth. It should be glued to the back of the spine right here. And that is usually what holds a book block into the case. And it is just not there. It's an example of a cheap binding process, I suppose. So uh, we are going to have to figure out a way to get a super cloth to hold all the papers together in this book block. It's going to be tricky, but uh, we'll figure it out. You're going to do your damn self. All right, so here's what makes up a case-bound book. This is the reason why it stays nice and flat when you read it. The spine itself is not glued to the book block. That way, when you open the book, it will lay flat. There's a little airspace here on the bottom. The trick is going to be to glue the book block back together without getting glue here. So that's where we are going to come up with some wax paper or parchment paper. Just a plain chipboard strip. Loose enough to fit in there, but big enough to cover most of the area. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to take the chipboard strip. By the way, this measured one inch across. And I checked it out. It's exactly one inch. So what I did is I made this three quarters of an inch. That way it fits nicely in there, but a little bit loose as well. Alright, so what we're doing here is creating a non-stick surface. So the glue itself will not stick between the book block and the spine. This is going to be our little spacer that will not allow that to adhere. So what we need to do is use our skills obviously developed doing something else <clears throat> and uh, applying it to here so the parchment paper will stick to the chipboard because you can't tape the non-stick surface to the non-stick surface. And that will probably be close enough. The book block itself is one inch across, so what I'm doing is taking about one and three-eighths inches to give it just a little bit of a wrap around. Alright, so what we're going to do, this is a super cloth. When we glue it, we're going to push glue through here so it's good and soaked. wrap it around this. This will give it just enough space to get a little creep up right along the edge of the inner spine right there. And when we go to seal the book, close it nice and tight, we'll put it in a book press. And yes, I have a homemade one here at the house. Hopefully everything will line up right and hold everything together without Grabbing onto the spine. Here's the hoping. Both sides are coated. Make sure you don't get it on the inside pages here. If you do, just wipe it off a little bit. And, uh, make sure that doesn't stick together. Alright, time for our super cloth. 
This is one inch across, so what I did was I make this one and three eighths. It's one little wrap around like that. So I've marked it at three sixteenths of an inch. And this isn't really necessary, but I love paying attention to details. What I'm going to do is just create a little score there to help it wrap nicely around the little spine blocker we have. An ominous sounding name, I know. We will wrap around that piece nice and tight. All right, time to add the glue. We want to make sure we just get it really well soaked through. See all those squares right there? Pretend this is a waffle and you want to fill up all the holes. And you want it pretty wet, but still being able to handle it. Don't worry about getting this glue on the surfaces. Once it dries, it's easy to peel off. Or if it's still wet, clean it up with water. Alright, wrap it around this. This book is nine inches across this way, so what I'm going to do is make it eight and seven eighths. It's a nice square cut. There's more. All right, I'm going to leave extra on this end of the parchment paper so I can slide it out of there. As a little extra insurance of the book block not sticking to the spine, I've cut another little extra piece of about one inch wide of the parchment paper to set it right inside there. Okay. Working with this stuff is easy, but it does set up pretty well, pretty fast rather. Just make sure it is still wet. All right, here goes. I'm going to lay right inside there. Careful not to get the glue on the inside pages, they will stick together. Alright, like so. Give it a good press. Keep the book block even as you press down on that. What you're doing is you're pushing pressure to make sure that the super cloth sticks to the book block. If it's any change, you may have gotten some of the glue on the page itself while it was open. Put a little parchment paper inside there. All you have to do is get about an eighth of an inch from the Inside, you don't want to go all the way to the spine. Just want to make sure that the pages don't stick together. Great thing to do. All right, and what we need to do now is just put it in our book press and uh, let it dry for the night. What we want to do, make sure our book block looks nice and even. There shouldn't be any height difference between this side and that side. So what we need to do, I have a homemade book press, as you see. It doesn't need to be fancy. All it needs to do is just hold pressure on it until it dries. What we need to do is slip it in there right down to the spine. Right there where the edge of the case stops and the spine begins. If you don't have a book press, heavy books will work just fine on this. Doesn't have to be super tight. All it needs to do is hold it in place. All right, it has sat in the book press overnight. Now it's time to remove it from the press and remove our parchment paper from the spine. All right. That is our repaired book. 
the pages are not split anymore. Now it's time to remove this business here. Right, let's open the book. Try to create a little loose space here. Ideally, it'll pull right out and the cloth will be still hanging on to the spine. Alright, this has not come out as easy as I had hoped. I've been working at it with the screwdriver trying to get to loosen up inside there. And if it starts to pull off the super cloth along with the paper, I might just leave this in there and just cut it back. So let's give this a try now that I've got to loosen it up from both sides. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's better. Alright. It is a complete book again. There is a spot in the book where it looks a little bit where you can see the gap still, but uh, for the most part, it's holding together well. It does lay flat, so we are getting that airspace here at the spine. All right, it is holding together well. The glue is dried, the super cloth is hanging onto the pages very well. I've never encountered this problem before, but I'm glad I did because now I know how to fix it in the future. If this video helped you, Please hit like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. And uh, don't be afraid to do it your damn self. Love you guys.